Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Cooking for Blockheads. This is a really, really cool mod that as you can see adds in different cooking elements. It actually adds in working things like countertops and stoves and all sorts of stuff like that. As you can see it's a kitchen. It, the, the kitchen is modular and can be upgraded through additional blocks, allowing expanded storage, infinite water for crafting provided by the sink, or efficient and delicious cooking with the oven. Some people even want to go as far as capturing a cow in a jar to provide them with infinite milk. So, pretty cool stuff there. As you can see there's tons of cool different things there's a recipe book to show you all the food items you can craft or smelt with things that you have in your inventory so really really cool system awesome stuff cooking for blockheads is a mod that's very popular 50 million downloads this is actually the first time we've ever done a video on it so let's go ahead and show you how to get it in minecraft 1.16.4 first and foremost though we do have a sponsor which is apex minecraft host and you go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex to get your very own 24 hour dnos protected minecraft server for you and your friends we love and trust apex so much that we have our own server played our breakdowncraft.com on them so if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, check out Apex the first link down below. Again, that's the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into getting Cooking for Blockheads installed. The first thing I want to do is go to the second link down below. That's going to take you here. This is uh, the Cooking for Blockheads download page. Come over here to the right hand side and scroll down until you see this Minecraft 1.16 section. And then under that, you'll see Cooking for Blockheads. Now, this does say 1.16.3 if you hover over it, but the 1.16.3 version is fully compatible for 1.16.4 so you have no worries there. Let's go ahead and click on that purple download button on the right here, and after a few seconds it will take us off to here, where the download will begin right away. So we go here for a second, boom, the download will now begin, and in the bottom left we have Cooking for Blockheads downloaded. You will need to keep the file on the bottom left, or save it in the center of your screen if you're on Mozilla Firefox. Now we aren't done downloading just yet, we still need to download Forge. To do that you want to go to the third link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Forge. That's going to take you here. This is our in-depth guide for Forge, and I'm going to be going over the basics in this video, but should you, you know, and get stuck or have any issues or if I even go too fast, which I've been known to do from time to time, if any of that happens, this text tutorial allows you to go through it at your own pace and get things set up. However, once you're here, you just want to go ahead and click on this green download forge button towards the top of the page. When you click on that, it's going to take us off to Forge's official website. However, as you can see here, this says MC 1.16.3, not 1.16.4. To make it say 1.16.4, you want to click on 1.16 on the left hand side and then click on 1.16.4 here. Once it says MC 1.16.4 there, you want to come under download latest and click on the installer button. Now then take us off to add focus where stop, don't click anything on this page, don't click a single thing on this page whatsoever except the red skip button in the top right. That's all you want to do is click the red skip button in the top right. And when you click on that red skip button in the bottom left, you will have Forge start downloading. It will say Forge 1.16.4. If it does, go ahead and click keep on it. If it doesn't, go ahead and discard and click that red skip button in the top right. Again, that's all you want to click on this page is that red skip button and then Forge will start downloading. On Mozilla Firefox, you need to save Forge in the center of your screen. Again, 100% safe as long as it has Forge in the title. Now we minimize our browser. In our desktop, we have cooking for blockheads and we have Forge. If this isn't on your desktop, no worries, it's going to be found in your downloads folder. How to find that? Click the little windows icon on the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click that little windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen, right up here, and then go ahead and type in downloads. You know this downloads file folder in Windows. Click on that, and in here you'll find cooking for blockheads and forge. You can drag these to your desktop just for ease of use. Once you've got these on your desktop, we're going to be starting off with forge. To do that, go ahead and right click on forge, click on open with, click on Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java. Well, if you don't have Java, or if your Java logos don't look like my Java logos, I'm going to show you how to fix that. The first thing you want to do is go to the third link, I believe, down below. It's going to be the link in the description that says, you know, download Java or whatever, and that's going to take you here. This is our in-depth guide for how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods. Cooking for blockheads, being a Minecraft mod, you're going to need this version of Java. It's a simple three-step process. It'll walk you through everything. Once you got Java installed, you can try to open up Forge, but you may also need to run the jar fix. If you're still having issues after that, you can go ahead and go to here. This is in the description down below and the jar fix is going to take all the dot jar files on your computer and link them up to java once again right like that basically making everything work together now finally we can go ahead and minimize our browser right click on forge click on open with click on java and click ok they will then open up the mod system installer for forge where once you're here all you've got to do is click on install client and click ok it's then going to download install build things add libraries, do everything that it needs to do to install Forge in Minecraft 1.16.4. It's 
you can see it's doing it now and it might actually look like it's frozen like this for example it's not frozen just wait it out eventually it will success say that forge is successfully installed the only reason it might not is if you've never played minecraft 1.16.4 before if that's the case go play it with no mods or anything then come back and this will work as you can see it does say successfully installed client profile forge version 1.16.4 go ahead and click ok that'll close out of that and now we can install cooking for blockheads now to do that we want to go ahead and open up the minecraft launcher and before you slam that play button you want to make sure you've got the forge profile selected now we look down here in the bottom left we can click on this arrow and click on forge here then it should say 1.16.4-forge under it if it does go ahead and click play let's go ahead in the tutorial but if it doesn't if you don't have this forge version here what do you do or if you do have it and it doesn't say 1.16.4 under it what do you do well in that case you want to click on the installations tab up here at the top of minecraft then you want to click on this plus new button now you can name this whatever you want i'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com why well, am i naming it that because that is our own incredible minecraft server we have 1.16.4 native grief protected survival with over 30 custom quests on medieval survival and a player based economy and aquatic survival has an incredible slash shop based economy on top of all of that we do have an amazing skybox server with tons of custom stuff and it's getting a huge update very very soon so come play with us play.breakdowncraft.com is the ip i cannot wait to see you online once you've got your name there you want to go ahead and click on this version drop down box and then click on release 1.16.4 forge so right here it is for me go ahead and click on that now i'm going to change our resolution you don't have to do that but we're making a video and i want you all to be able to see once we get in game so let's go ahead and click on this green create button in the bottom right and then we have this new profile play.breakdowncraft.com it has 1.16.4 forge under it so we can go ahead and hover over it and click on that green play button now it's going to go ahead and open up Minecraft with Forge installed. And you may be asking yourself, Nick, I thought we were installing Cooking for Blockheads. Why have we done, why have we got Forge? Well, because Forge is required in order to run the Cooking for Blockheads mod. Basically, the Cooking for Blockheads mod cannot run if Forge isn't there to run it. So that's kind of why we're doing this. That's why we had to get Forge. And now the process is pretty simple. Literally, it's dragging and dropping and restarting Minecraft to get Cooking for Blockheads installed from this point. But... The hard, so the hard part is not, so that's good. But you need to do the hard part in order to do the easy part, which is actually installing the mod. As you can see here, it might look like Minecraft's frozen. It's not. It's going to eventually load, and here we are loading into the main menu. Then what we want to do is click on the Mods tab here, and then on the Mods tab, we want to click on the Open Mods folder button in the bottom left. So again, let's click on the Mods tab and click on Open Mods folder in the bottom left. Then this opens our Mods folder here, and all we want to do is take Cooking for Blockheads and drag and drop it from our desktop into this Mods folder. Again, open the Mods folder in the bottom left, and then drag and drop Cooking for Blockheads into this Mods folder. Now once you've done that, you can click Done, you can do anything you want to do. You're never going to be able to find the Cooking for Blockheads mod. It's not going to be here until you restart Minecraft with Forge. So let's go ahead and make sure we click Done here, Quick Game, and then we want to open up the Minecraft Launcher again. Now this time, we don't have to go through that complicated process of creating a profile or anything. All we have to do is select a profile that has 1.16.forge under it in the bottom left after clicking on this. Ours is going to be play.breakdowncraft.com, so let's click on that click play and now actually when forge is opening like the forge early loading process here you'll be able to see that right there it is cooking for blockheads is installed so that's awesome stuff and now we just kind of sit back and wait we just kind of sit back and wait until minecraft 1.16.4 is open with cooking for blockheads i mean it's just waiting at this point it's not too entertaining so i'll go ahead and do a quick jump cut and i'll meet you once we're on the minecraft main menu so here we are loading into the Minecraft main menu, and once we're on the main menu, we can go ahead and click on the Mods tab here, and then there it is, Cooking for Blockheads. We can then go ahead and jump into Single Player as well. I'll go ahead and make a new world for this, just because that's easier. Cooking for Blockheads. Make it creative again, because it's easier to show off a mod when you're in creative. And now we're just going to load into a new world. No reason for you all to see this. We can check out the mod once we're in game, so let's let this world load on up. So here we are in game. We've spawned in a kind of an interesting biome. This doesn't look like that great of a biome, but for those of you who are always interested in the seed, there it is. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and see what Cooking for Blockheads has. So if we click over here, we'll be able to see Cooking for Blockheads. And here's kind of all of the basic gear and everything, as you can see. Now, some of this stuff, the light gray kitchen floor, is more of a, uh, you know, just building block. Right? This is kind of something cool, like a cool new additional building block. But some of this stuff is functional, like the oven, like the cooking table. And as you can see, these are multi-block kitchens. So you're going to go ahead and add things in here with this, like kitchen countertops, ovens, sinks, all of that stuff. Toasters even can be added in here. So pretty cool stuff. I'll go ahead and place this down, right like so. This all links together and looks good and all of that. Um, I think there's one thing. Is there one thing we're missing? Let's see. No, we've got the oven. Let's put the toaster. Let's put the toaster down, and there you go. So as you can see, we've now got this like kind of cool, simple setup. You can actually store things in the kitchen counter. You can actually cook things in the oven, and you can over here. Which block is that? I don't know exactly what this is. This is the oh, the cooking table, and this is like a crafting table, allowing you to combine recipes and do things like that. There's also sinks and all sorts of stuff. Fruit baskets. I mean, just so much cool stuff. Fridges. 
awesome, awesome mod that really kind of takes things to the next level. And um, yeah, overall, something I would recommend checking out if you're interested in cooking, kind of just having some fun in Minecraft. But nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Enjoy the cooking for Blockheads mod in Minecraft 1.16.4. And come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. On Breakdown Craft, you will find incredible grief-protected survival with 30 custom quests on medieval survival, a player-based economy. It is absolutely incredible. Aquatic survival has an awesome slash shop-based economy with a truly amazing community over there. And our skyblock server right there it is but it has so much stuff on the way i cannot stress enough so get in start enjoying skyblock because huge updates are on the way but nevertheless my name is nick this has been the breakdown thank you so much for watching and i'm out peace